because it's another time for us to gather. Somebody type in the comments, I know his name is wonderful. Everybody right here. Hey, Miranda, this is my testimony. All of my life, I've never known you to fail. You remain the same man. Wonderful is your name. All of my life, I've never known you to fail. You remain the same man. Wonderful is your name. Oh, a man. Oh, yeah. I can walk upon the water on the dark and raging sea. And I know a man. to open or make the lane to walk again but I know a man who can oh some call his savior the redeemer of, of man, man.
spirit's friend And if you feel that no one loves you Then your life is out of hell Praise the Lord. What a wonderful song. Praise the Lord. I now welcome Sister Renia Williams to introduce our day's speaker. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I know a man who can. So praise the Lord if you know a man who can. Despite the challenges, no matter what the situation is, I know a man who can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Today, I have the honor of introducing the gay speaker. Today, I present to you Evangelist Cynthia marshall -Lou. She's a powerhouse, a wife, a mother, a prior warrior. She's a Proverbs 31 woman. The Bible says, she girds her loins with strength. Strength and honor are her clothing. She opens her mouth with wisdom. And today, I know the Lord has placed the spirit of wisdom on her. And she's pregnant with a word to deliver. Please open your heart and mind to receive a word from the Lord. Please make our speaker welcome. Thank you, Sister Renee. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We glorify God in his house. We bless the name of Jesus. We magnify him because only he alone is worthy to be praised. Glory to God. I know a man who can. Beautiful singing. Glory to God. That man is Jesus. Be seated in the house. Glory to God. We magnify him and bless his holy name. Truly wonderful to be in the house of God another Sunday morning to magnify the name of Jesus because only he alone is worthy to be praised. Let me greet the Holy Spirit that is among us. Then to our pastor, Bishop Desinette Whitecliffe and Tony Freighter Sr. First Lady, Minister Lisa Marie Freighter. Associate Pastor Ricardo Brown. Deacon Daniel Taylor. Deaconess Glenora Johnson, missionaries, saints in Christ, visiting friends, and our dear visiting evangelist, a root of the church who has greeted us before. Glory to God. Saw her name in the book, Sister Hamilton. But today, glory to God, evangelist. What a wonderful God. What a wonderful Savior. Saints online, I greet you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, we glorify you and we magnify you for who you are and give you thanks that you are God and God alone. The only true and living God, the God of the heavens, the hurt and beneath. The God of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Father, here I am, unworthy for such tasks, creating me a clean heart and renew your right spirit within me. Let self be slain, mighty God. I repent of all my sins, for my sins are ever before thee, O Lord, and against thee have I sinned. O gracious goodness, God, send a word for your people today. Speak through me, only a vessel to be used by you. Saturate this place, mighty God, with your presence. Let the Shekinah glory of God fill the house. Let the angels of the true and living God take up strategic location. And every spirit of destruction we put on the subjection to the will and word of the true and living God this morning. And glorify you, God, for who you are. 
clear, mighty God, the here way. And let your word go forth, mighty God. And reach that which you intended it to do and deliver. We glorify you, God. We thank you for your people today. We thank you, God, that you are in control. And we magnify your holy name. Glory to God. Glory to God. The scripture was read this morning. Earlier this morning. From the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12. I'll just read two verses. Verses 9 and 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Verses 9 and 10. Glory to God. Here beginneth. And he said unto me. My grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. Here ended a portion of the reading of the word of God. We honor it by saying, let the word of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench. This thirst in all my soul. Bread of heaven. Feed me till I want no more. Feel my God. Time fill my cup. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up. I, I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench. Come and quench. This thirst in my soul. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven.
Marco Sada, Himako Soto, Reco Sa, Shebo Sana, Himako Soto, Glory to God, Glory to God, Glory to God. The theme is you have the strength to make it. Glory to God, Glory to God. There are many definitions. For the word strength in the Bible dictionaries. Some of the definitions in the King James Bible are one, power or vigor of any kind. This act shall crush the strength of Satan. Two, power of resisting attacks. Fastness as the strength of a castle or fort. Three, Support that which supports, that which supplies strength, security. Psalms 46 says, God is our refuge and strength. Another definition is the power of mind, intellectual force, the power of any faculty, a strength of memory, strength of judgment. And another one is that which supports confidence the scripture read 2nd Corinthians chapter 12 in the book of Corinthians an outline of the early history of the Corinthians church is provided in Acts chapter 18 Paul the apostle left Macedonia through Athens into Corinth he stayed with a Jewish couple, Aquila and Priscilla. The first Corinthians church was in Aquila's house. The Apostle Paul started the regular synagogue preaching of the Messiahship of Jesus to the Jewish community, and most of them rejected the gospel. So therefore, the Apostle Paul turned to the Gentiles, so the church was fairly large, one with predominantly Gentiles. The Apostle Paul spent about 18 months in Corinth and then he journeyed to Ephesus where he spent another three years there. On his latter years in Ephesus, he received information from sources that there were conflicts within the church and he wrote unto them urging uniformity of belief and that there should be no division among them. Despite the letters the Apostle Paul had written in 1 Corinthians, he continued to receive complaints against the Corinthians, and he wrote 2 Corinthians from Macedonia, as he had left Ephesus onto Macedonia. So ancient Corinth was and is in southern Greece, west of Athens, strategically situated on the trade routes, the meeting point of many nationalities, the main current of the trade between Asia and Western Europe passed through its harbor. Corinth was known as a prosperous pagan city with mixtures of cultural differences and the church was embraced with the different classes of religious background. So therefore the church was in the world, but the world must not be in the church. For the world to come out of the church, the believer have to come out of the world. Come out of the things that are causing a spiritual separation between the church and the Lord Jesus Christ. In Ephesians chapter 1 verses 22 to 23, the church is the body of Christ and he is the head. The church begun on the day of Pentecost. Jesus declared it to be so. He said, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The church was founded upon Jesus' death, resurrection and ascension. Jesus purchased it with his blood. And when he arose from the dead, 
he gave the church resurrected life. Colossians 3 verses 1 to 3. And the head over all things to the church is the Lord Jesus Christ. Some of the relationship between the church and Jesus. The Bible tells us in St. John chapter 10 that the shepherd Jesus is and the church is the sheep. The vine and the branches, find that in St. John chapter 15. The cornerstone and the stones of the building, 1 Corinthians 3 verse 9 and Ephesians 2 verse 19. The high priest and the kingdom of priests, Hebrews chapter 5 verses 1 to 10. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 13. The head and the church is the member body, 1 Corinthians 12 tells us that. The last Adam and the new creation. Jesus is the last Adam. The church is the new creation. Jesus is the bridegroom. And the church is the bride. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. So the church, Corinth. The Corinthians, the members that made up the Corinth church. Were of different cultural background. A mixture of different beliefs formed the church. And where there are mixtures of different beliefs, there is evidence of confusion. Glory to God. And so the apostle Paul wrote unto the Corinth members to tell them that let there be no division among them. Urging uniformity. You see, some say they were of Paul. Some say they were of Apollos. Some say that they were of Cephas. But the Apostle Paul reminded them that Christ is not divided. It is Christ that has died for them. It is not himself, Paul. It is not Cephas. And it is not Apollos. Uniformity in belief. And so it is important for the believers of God to have the same belief. We believe that Jesus Christ is the only true and living God. We believe that baptism is done in the name of Jesus. We believe that without the Holy Spirit, you are not of him. Oh, glory to God. Uniformity in belief. Let there be no division among them. And the apostle Paul, as he wrote unto them, and he spoke about other things because there were all sorts of things. You see, the Gentiles, they were pagan worshippers uh, and so their beliefs were different uh, so he warned them about fornication, uh, adulterous thing, idolatrous things uh, he warned them to separate themselves uh, from the things that are causing a division among them uh, and the true and living God uh, and it is for us to separate ourselves from the world. We are living in a world, but we don't do as the world say. We do according to the word of the true and living God. We become the man that, that has received the word of God and it is planted, planted in good soil. That is not truth by thorns. That is not truth by the pressure of the world. But when circumstances come, upon us. Uh, we have strength in the Lord thy God uh, to pursue because he is able to carry us through. Somebody worship him and glorify him. Uh, it is in Romans chapter 12 verse 1 to 2 he said uh, I beseech you therefore brethren uh, by the mercy of God uh, that he present your body a living sacrifice uh, wholly acceptable unto God uh, which is your reason reasonable service uh, and be not conformed to the things of the world uh, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind uh, that he may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Uh, it takes a transformation of the mind uh, so that we can do and we can prove the perfect uh, acceptable will of God. Uh, what is it that our minds 
are on? What are our beliefs? What are the things that entertained us? What are the things that we are excited for? Have our minds been transformed? Are we still looking back at the world like Lot's wife who looked back and became the pillar of salt? Or are we pressing on to higher heights and higher grounds in Christ? Oh, glory to God Almighty. Somebody worship him. He said, let fear be no division among them. Oh, glory to God. And for us to have the strength to pursue, it calls for oneness because unity is strength. Oh, glory to God. When we journey over into 2 Corinthians and Paul continued to write unto them. You see, there were some false teachers over there discrediting Paul. Oh, glory to God. They talked about him. They called him frickle. They say he was dishonest. They say he was unimpressive. Unimpressive in his dressing. Unimpressive in his talking. And he was not qualified. Unqualified to be an apostle. But the apostle Paul defended his character. The apostle Paul preached and teach the word of God. Nonetheless, the apostle Paul said he finds comfort in affliction because it is in his weaknesses that he proves the strength of the living God. So despite the afflictions, the harder the afflictions, the more you will prove the consolation and comfort of the living God. Because if you are partaker of affliction, then you too become partaker of consolation. Somebody magnify him. You must realize, church, that as partaker of, of affliction and as partaker of consolation, that there are those that are moving around you like the scribes and the Pharisees, seeking to find, to identify things, to bring you down. When Jesus Christ walked this hurt, the scribes and the Pharisees were always there looking for something to accuse him of. But the Lord thy God who no fault is within, they could not overcome him because he is wiser than the wisest. He is mightier than the mightiest. He is stronger than the strongest. There's no fault in him. And so as believers, we must know that the enemy looks every day to find something to tear us down with. But we continue pursuing to do good uh, because the word of God said blessed are those that mourn because uh, they shall laugh uh, you mourn today but the laughter is coming uh, oh glory to God just over uh, on the other side uh, oh blessed are those uh, that have been persecuted uh, blessed are those uh, that have been mistreated uh, reproached uh, oh glory to God blessed are the poor uh, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Rejoice, church. Rejoice in the weakness because the strength of God is being proven in it. You gotta be connected to the old landmark to feel the strength and power of God in you. Because when you are connected and the word of God resides within you and the spirit of God resides within you, you can say so. I walk to the valley of the shadow of death. I'll fear no evil. Oh, you can say the Lord is my help, my keeper, my fortress. Somebody greeted us earlier and said when she looked over one side, she asked for Mr. Goodness. And she looked over the other side. She asked for Miss Grace because the word of God tells us that goodness and mercy shall follow us uh, all the days of our life. Uh, oh, glory to God Almighty. We magnify him uh, because only he alone is worthy. Let the scribes and the Pharisees follow uh, because they will have nothing to report. Uh, once you glory in God, uh, you are moving higher and higher, uh, higher heights and deeper depth. Uh, oh, glory to God Almighty. The apostle 
Paul who spoke of uh, afflictions and consolation. Uh, he mentioned something uh, in the book of 1 Corinthians uh, where he was in a troubled situation. Uh, one we are in, uh, his very life was at risk. Uh, one we are in, uh, death sentence was passed upon them uh, and they could not trust in themselves, uh, but they had to put their trust in God uh, while he was in Asia. Oh, we know he encountered uh, many trials and tribulations uh, on his missionary journeys. Uh, but I take it to uh, Acts chapter 19 uh, when he was in Ephesus. Uh, you see, Ephesus was a pagan city. It is said to be one of the largest uh, in the Mediterranean world. Uh, great trade happened there. Uh, they have the seaport. Uh, trade in transportation uh, and it was known as a city of pagan worshippers. Uh, the temple of the great goddess God Diana reside in Ephesus. Uh, oh glory to God. Uh, and people from the world worship the goddess Diana. Uh, they called her the goddess of fertility and childbirth. Uh, and the apostle Paul stepped forth uh, in Ephesus. Uh, and when he stepped forth in Ephesus, uh, he met 12 men, uh, 12 disciples of God. Uh, he asked unto them, uh, unto whose baptism uh, were you baptized? Uh, they said they were baptized uh, unto John baptism. Uh, he asked if they had received uh, the gift of the Holy Ghost. Uh, since they have been baptized, uh, they said they don't hear such much thing. Uh, about the Holy Ghost. They were baptized. He laid his hands upon them. They were filled with the Holy Ghost. And they began to prophesy. You see, believers in Christ, we have been stagnant one place since we have received Christ. Since we have been baptized, there's no growth, no evidence of development because we have not been seeking after him uh, we lack knowledge uh, some of us has the knowledge uh, but not applying it uh, and so you find that uh, there is no growth uh, stagnant uh, can't defend the good gospel uh, that you believe in uh, no relationship with God uh, not spending quality time with him uh, so we become so stagnant uh, the church is stagnant because uh, it's not pursuing Christ. Uh, we get so comfortable uh, as was told uh, and we were reminded of uh, in the very announcement uh, we have lost our first love. Uh, when we go over to the book of Revelation chapter 2, uh, the Lord called out Ephesus by name. Uh, the church that he knows their good work of uh, and the church he has a fault with uh, because they they have uh, lost their first love. Uh, they have lost their first love. Uh, they are no remember where they were coming from. Uh, and the zeal uh, and the desire and the enthusiastic uh, they were to come to worship God. Uh, oh glory to God we have lost our first love. Uh, we don't come out to service anymore. Uh, oh glory to God we step in uh, on, from time to time on a Sunday and we believe that is enough uh, but if we find ourselves to be only Sunday morning worshippers uh, we have lost our first love uh, if we find that we are not praying as we ought to we have lost our first love uh, if we find that we are not reading the word of God uh, we have lost our first love uh, if we find that we are too entangled in the cares of this world uh, we have lost our first love no longer concern with the things of God because we are conformed and being corrupted by the things of the world the desires that we want the things we want to achieve the things we go all out for we want a nice car house and land we want a nice husband we want a nice wife we want a party all we can. Oh, glory to God. I 
we call ourselves believer, these things are evidence that we have lost our first love. And so he said, if you don't repent, I'm going to remove my younger stick. We don't want the Lord to remove his younger stick out of the church of the living God, out of our lives. So we will repent today. We'll get back to the place where we once were. We get back with sweet communion with our Lord. Sweet communion among believers. Let the love flow. We will think upon the things that are lovely. We will think upon the things that are pure. We will think upon the things that are of good report. We will think upon things that will glorify God. Oh, because we are connected to the whole landmark. We are still in love with him. When you're in love with someone, you want to see them dearly. You want to know their whereabouts. If you have an expectation for them to show up at a certain time and the person is not there, you begin to get concerned. And so you try to reach out. Where are you? Is everything okay? Oh, glory to God. In Bishop announcement, he spoke of the breeze that affected us on Friday night. Alone in his house, realizing his wife was not with him. He felt afraid. He felt loneliness. So he reached out to her. He was concerned about her. Or we are about her. Because she, he is still connected to her. The love that he has. Want to ensure that she's okay. It's a similar relationship. We need to have with Christ. He looks forward every day. To hear from us. He looks forward for his worship. He delights in worship. He looks forward to see us. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. He looks forward to see us. Making a joyful noise unto him. He said make a joyful noise unto me. All he land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord he is God. It is he that has made us. And not we ourselves. Oh glory to God. We are the sheep of his pasture. So we must enter into his gates with thanksgiving. We must enter in his courts with praise. And be thankful unto him. And bless his name. Because God is God. He is God. He has made us. And not we ourselves. Somebody glorify him. Somebody glorify him. Somebody glorify him. Hallelujah. 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 So the apostle Paul stepped into Ephesus and the Lord used him mightily. He carried out miracles so much so that they brought unkerchief to his body and aprons and they brought it back to the sick and the sick they were healed. Mighty move of God taking place. He cast out demons but there were seven sons who observed the work of the apostle the sons of Sceva he was a priest and Sceva was a priest as well and he has seven sons and these seven sons were caught up in the occult practice they see the magnificent work of the apostle and they too wanted to perform it so they said I exercise you by Jesus the name whom Paul preached or teaches also they went to the the demon possessed person wanting to cast out demons by the name 
of Jesus whom Paul preaches uh, and so the demon possessed them uh, because the demon said Jesus I know Paul I know but you I don't know you so they were traced out of the house naked uh, and wounded uh, and the thing spread out uh, throughout Ephesus uh, it became a weird uh, person became it became known uh, unto others uh, person became aware of it uh, and so you find those that were involved uh, in the occult practice uh, in the craft practices uh, they came in and they brought uh, in their books uh, and they burnt it uh, and they turned over their lives uh, unto Jesus uh, the massive move of God uh, in Ephesus uh, oh glory to God uh, but there was one uh, who was named Demetrius uh, he's a skill is a silver cement man uh, one that makes uh, medal and medallion uh, idol uh, of the temple of Diana uh, and the goddess Diana uh, that was his trade uh, so his trade was threatened uh, because people were turning over their lives uh, unto the true and living God uh, and so it vexed his spirit uh, and Demetrius called uh, the others who were in similar trade like him uh, and he told them of a man called Paul uh, who is in Ephesus and throughout Asia causing people to turn uh, causing people not to want to serve uh, the goddess Diana uh, and their trade is at risk uh, the, Demetrius uh, was not concerned uh, so much about the goddess Diana but of himself of losing his wealth of his profit going down of his trade being seized that was his main concern and because of what he did he caused an uproar in Ephesus so much so that the apostle Paul uh, and the others that were with him uh, they were threatened uh, they became fearful of their lives uh, and they had to hide themselves uh, in the theater uh, oh glory to God they realize uh, they have no strength of their own uh, they cannot trust in themselves uh, they realize that in their weaknesses uh, that God's strength uh, and power will prevail uh, so they had to look to the true and living God uh, for deliverance uh, but there was one among them uh, named Alexander uh, he was a Jews uh, but he was a town clerk as well uh, and they put him out there uh, to address the crowd uh, and the people carried on uh, for two long hours uh, shouting worship uh, unto the goddess Diana uh, but God spoke through that man uh, and he spoke with wisdom uh, and so the crowd became quiet uh, and the people went away he said if Paul uh, and his associates uh, have done any harm uh, or has breached any law there is a place for it to settle uh, so Demetrius and his, the others uh, can carry them to the court uh, the deputies are available uh, to address the matter and so the crowd became quiet uh, and the people went away and the apostle and his associates uh, they were freed that he spoke of uh, was one of the trials uh, that he encountered uh, doing his missionary work uh, preaching and teaching of Christ uh, so we go out there uh, we preach and we teach Christ uh, we evangelize uh, but know that the enemies uh, don't like it uh, know that the enemy will set up plot for you know that the enemy will cause an uproar against you false accusation uh, against you uh, know that your lives uh, can be threatened uh, onto the point of death uh, know that you can be thrown in prison uh, know that you can be lied upon uh, but know also that your strength is in the Lord thy God uh, and 
and it is in your weaknesses uh, that his strength is being manifested. Uh, so whatever your weaknesses are today, uh, whatever you are struggling with, uh, whatever it is that has you bound, uh, know that if you cast or tears upon the Lord thy God, uh, he is able to deliver. Uh, give it all to him. Uh, rest your faith upon him. Uh, pour out everything unto him. Uh, and know that God is a deliverer. Uh, he is the present constant companion. Uh, a present helper uh, in time of trouble. Uh, know that he is a provider. Uh, know that he is a protector. Uh, know that he is the way maker. Uh, know that he is the light in the darkness. Uh, know that he knows the ways of man. Uh, knows that he sees everything. Uh, we must believe in whom we serve. Uh, we must come to learn of him. Uh, we must know that there is nothing uh, that will take him by surprise. Uh, we must know that he is the Alpha and he is the Omega. Uh, we must know that he is the beginning uh, and he is the end. Uh, nothing is hidden from him. Uh, we must know that uh, he seeth all things. Uh, he knows the thoughts of men. Uh, he is the omnipresent God uh, who is here, there, and everywhere. Uh, the omniscient God who sees everything. Uh, so in spite of the trials, uh, despite of the testing, uh, despite of the tribulations, uh, despite of the weaknesses uh, that you may find yourself in, uh, give it all unto him. Uh, pour out everything unto him. Uh, be the woman uh, with the alabasca by. Uh, use your tears uh, and wash his feet uh, and use your hair uh, to dry his feet uh, and anoint them uh, because when Christ step uh, and stand up uh, all the tears uh, all the tears uh, are being stepped on uh, he is the overcomer uh, none could defeat him uh, he is above everything uh, oh glory to God uh, know that uh, even in your sicknesses uh, his strength is prevailed and prevailed uh, the apostle Paul spoke of uh, the thorn in his flesh uh, that he prayed three times about uh, but the grace of God uh, was sufficient uh, know that the thorn of life uh, that are affecting you uh, God's grace is sufficient uh, give God thanks for the thorns uh, because the thorns keep you at the feet of Jesus. The thorns help you to know Jesus. The thorns help you to walk closer with him. Know that he will never leave you. Neither will he forsake you. So give God glory. That's what the apostle Paul said. He can rejoice in his afflictions. He can rejoice in his necessities. Is, uh, he can rejoice in reproaches. Uh, he can rejoice in just about anything uh, because he knows the God he serves uh, is able to keep him uh, and the grace of God, uh, the unmerited favor uh, is sufficient for him. Uh, somebody give God glory. Somebody give God glory. Somebody give God glory. Somebody worship him uh, and magnify him because uh, only he alone uh, is worthy to be praised uh, we can magnify him uh, and glorify him because uh, he is faithful uh, too faithful to disappoint us uh, too faithful uh, he stands by his very word uh, oh glory to God uh, sometimes troubles are upon us uh, we may want to wonder where God is uh, but I cannot tell you something. He is right there. Sometimes we wonder why me, Lord. But can I tell you something? It's got to be you. Because his strength is going to be made perfect in the situation. Sometimes you wonder, I have done all I can. I raised up the children the best way I can. I taught them good values.
values. I lived by the very standards. And look at what they have become. Remember the chief priest, Kiva, and the seven sons. They did not follow after their father's footstep. And if their father is a priest, it means that he is from the descendant of the tribe of Levi. Because God called the priests from that tribe. The sons should be doing work in the house of God. But maybe because of greed, maybe because of lust, the things of the world, they heard the word. They were like the word that fell on the rocky stone with no root. They were like the word that grew up up uh, with thorn uh, and the cares of life uh, have choked them uh, so we do all we can uh, but the children uh, disobedient uh, children they become uh, refuse to follow uh, after the standards uh, that they were brought up in uh, but continue to do your priesthood duties uh, continue to do the work of God uh, because the Lord knows how uh, to settle their account. Uh, they ran out of the house naked uh, and wounded. Uh, I believe they have never returned uh, to that trade or practice. Uh, so God knows how to resolve uh, every situation. Uh, and that's why the Apostle Paul can rejoice uh, in whatever the situations are. Uh, because God is able uh, to keep them. Uh, he spoke of Demetrius, uh, the one one who calls the poor. But when I go over to the book of Third John, I saw Third John writing unto an elder Gaius, and he made mention of two men. He made mention one of the men he made mention of was not to follow after that man. And I tell you something that man was not Demetrius. Demetrius is the man he said uh, they should follow and gave good report of uh, my bishop would say it messes me up uh, because I wonder uh, if this Demetrius uh, in 3rd John chapter 3 uh, is the same Demetrius uh, in Acts chapter 9 uh, and if he is the same Demetrius uh, it means that uh, he has uh, made a significant change uh, he has accepted God he has witnessed the mighty move of God. What he did, he realized it didn't work. And he had to surrender. And if he is the person the apostle John wrote of, John said this man is a firm believer. There's a good report. No one can persuade this one. I recommend that you follow after this one. Because you see, if it is the same Demetrius, my God, nobody can fool him because he has his own testimony. He knows the true and living God. He knows that the God of the heavens, the earth and beneath is more powerful than the goddess Diana. He knows and I want to tell you something because it messes me up more further because Demetrius knew all along that goddess Diana is no god he only wanted it oh god to earn income from mighty god I believe I spent too much time in my bishop company mighty good god because as I started to read the scripture I can hear his voice oh this one messes me up mighty good god glory to god but god is a transformer God is able to deliver no matter what the situation is he's able to change it only if we give him everything we will find our strength in him somebody glorify him glorify him and magnify him hallelujah hallelujah Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. When we prove God for himself, 
and to know that he is uh, the only true and living God. The Bible describes us as a set of blessed people. Oh, glory to God. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the way of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters that bring it forth fruit in its seasons his leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper you see the blessed man is a man that brings forth good fruit you cannot get bad fruit from a good tree a good tree bring it forth good fruit and if we live in Christ and Christ live in us we will demonstrate good fruit we will demonstrate the fruit of the spirit there will be joy in us there will be peace long suffering meekness and love demonstrating through us and that's why the apostle Paul says we must share and give unto others with no looking back for return and for those that have robbed us don't seek to acquire from them back oh glory to God 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 is able is able to keep you is able to sustain you oh glory to God almighty for us to exercise strength you have the strength in you it requires one to have faith because faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God without faith it is impossible to please the true and living God while Jesus walked the hurt and moved through Galilee and other places the Bible tells me of the centurion servant whose servant was healed and he sent the elders unto Jesus to come and heal his servant and the elders are the elders of the Jews they went and they spoke on the centurion's behalf you see this centurion man he has built a synagogue for the Jews he is well respected he shows love unto them and Jesus on his way with others going to his house he sent report unto the Lord Jesus not to come because his house and himself they are unworthy for the Lord to come in the Lord should just send the word and the servant will be healed he looked at himself as a man of authority that gives orders to others and they follow so looking at Christ the only true and living God the creator of creation the God who made all things and everything is beneath him he has the power to send forth a word and that word will connect to where he wants it to go that was the man faith in Christ the Lord marvels at his faith because he said he has never seen such faith among the Israelites no glory to God and the man's servants was healed can we lift our faith to him today and give him glory can we believe in his word and believe that even though I don't see it it can happen and believe that he has power over everything believe that whatever he says that he will do believe 
in the true and living God uh, and know that he is able. Uh, he doesn't have to come uh, in the very location uh, physically but because of who he is uh, his word uh, shall not return to him void. Uh, it is sharper uh, than any two edged sword uh, and it must reach uh, that which it is set forth for. Uh, somebody glorify him. Uh, do you know whom you serve? Uh, do you know whom you believe in? Uh, and if you have been calling upon him uh, and you are not hearing him, uh, come on and develop patience uh, and push your way through. Uh, you have a situation uh, that you want him to answer. Uh, you have a situation uh, you believe he can address. Uh, that you believe his grace uh, is sufficient for. Uh, you may feel weak in the body, but just one more grip. Uh, the crowd is thick. Uh, everybody see you as an outcast. Uh, they called you uh, sick. Uh, they scorned you. Uh, they move away from you. Uh, you have no associate uh, because of the problem you are going through. Uh, you have been hurt emotionally, physically, and spiritually. But the man called Christ Jesus uh, is passing your way. And you know that uh, your deliverance is in him. So you're going to make your way through the crowd. You're going to push. You're not next in line. You're going to move from your position. You're going to make your way to the front until you get direct contact with him. Because there's an issue for 12 years. No doctor can solve. No physicians can solve. You have lost all your money. You have lost everything. But you're moving by faith because you need a healing from this man. You need a deliverance from him. So you're pushing your way through. I'm making my way. If I have to crawl, I have to crawl. But I'm making my way through because I know what I know. I know what I want. And nothing is going to stop me. Not even my sickness. Because the moment I touch him, my sickness will be subdue uh, to the power of the living God. Uh, so I'm making my way through. Uh, I'm making my way through. Uh, there are all issues in the family. Uh, there are things that I'm upset about. Uh, but I'm making my way through. Uh, because I know the moment I touch him. Uh, that victory belongs to him. Uh, victory belongs to him. Uh, he wants to see uh, the faith at work. Uh, so I'm pushing my way. And I know when I touch him, virtue will leave from his very body. And I'll be made whole. I can rejoice. I'm no longer unclean. My sins are forgiven. I am a new creation. I am a brand new man. All things are passed away. I'm born again. Look at me. I'm born of the flesh. I'm born of the spirit. I'm born of the blood. I'm born of the water. The flesh is crucified and buried. Oh, glory to God. Because I'm a new creation. I go down with him in baptism. But I rise up in the newness of life as a new creation. I was born in flesh, in sin, and iniquity. But when I come to know him when I seek him like Nicodemus I realize that it is not a flesh birth anymore it is a spirit birth glory to God so I know I become clean I am a new creation I'm a part of the family of God part of the second Adam Jesus Christ came as the second Adam no sin was found in him crucified for you and I raised up triumphantly ascended in heaven those that are born of him those that believe in him and is baptized in his name rise up in newness of life the 
resurrected spirit uh, that raised him from the dead uh, has quickened me uh, out of the flesh into the spirit uh, and I look forward uh, for his return uh, oh glory to God uh, because this body uh, shall be changed uh, oh this corrupt body shall be reduced uh, shall be gone uh, glory to God uh, glory to God uh, glory to God uh, push your way through uh, push your way through uh, exercise feet uh, the storm clouds are raging uh, your boat is about to sink uh, the fear of death is upon you uh, but one last cry uh, to the master uh, Lord care is not uh, that we perish uh, glory to God uh, wake him from his sleep uh, let him know that uh, he has a situation to attend to a very urgent one uh, let death swallow you up uh, so cry out uh, open your mouth uh, cry out unto him uh, what is it that you want uh, open your mouth uh, cry out unto him uh, the disciples cry out uh, he arose he waked up uh, he rebuked the winner he said to the sea peace be still tell the devil peace be still peace be still I have somewhere to go I need to get over on the other side so peace be still the situations that are coming upon you tell them peace be still because there is a task to do a task to get done I must go over so you better be still because I got work to do and you ain't gonna hinder me from crossing over I'm going over so peace be still because there is deliverance over the other side there's a man to be delivered in gatherings the demand that was possessed with the legions of spirit he was the first to meet Jesus when they crossed over Bishop preached it was not the church it was a man that was filled with legions and God cast out those spirits so tell your situation be still peace be still I got work to do no time to linger with you come on far too long you stand in my way the obstacles the disappointments the cares of the world too long in my way I must leap over my hurdle now if I get a fall I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna leap over the other one because I must reach the finish line but you're gonna gird up your loins with feet and push your way through to get over on the other side to get victory in your lives if you look at the situations you're gonna be depressed they're gonna wear you down if you try to match it out it will never work cause no one can understand God's mathematics it cannot be comprehend with the human mind you gotta be in the spirit you gotta believe the world don't understand it but it's okay they need conversion for them to understand glory to God glory to God glory to God glory to God push your way through the strength is in Christ it is in him you live move and have your being Give him all the glory. He is a deliverer. Oh, no not matter your position. Position doesn't hinder you from serving God. No matter your status. Oh, Zarus was a man of status.
Jesus. But when his daughter, his only child, was sick and about to die, he made his way through the crowd to reach Christ because he need a deliverance. How many of us parents are pushing through for our children? How many of us are crying at his feet? How many of us are believing in God? How many of us say it's me again, Lord? I know I come yesterday. I know I come this morning. I know I come a whole again. But it's me again, Lord. It's me again, Lord. I got a problem that you can answer. I don't mean to worry you. I don't mean to trouble you. But I got a problem. I have got a problem. Be the widow who went to the wicked judge who fear neither man nor God. But her persistence. Oh, she was very persistent. Oh, when the judge saw her from afar, he rewarded her lest she come to weary him. Mighty God. So we are going to be persistent and push along to get strength in Christ. Oh, glory to God. With a made up mind, a man that is transformed, knowing that the Lord is my refuge, that the Lord is my fortress, that the Lord is the one in whom do I put my trust, knowing that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. You can say of him that he's your refuge and your strength. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is God. One God. One Lord. One Savior. Mighty God. You have the strength to push through. You have the strength to make it. It's in you. Christ in you is not a failure. It's a never feeling God. Push your way through. Make up your mind. Rejoice in tribulations. Rejoice in your afflictions. Rejoice in everything that want to throw themselves at you. And put your trust in God. Glory to 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 God. Can we worship him? Can we magnify him? And glorify him. Glorify him. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Somebody glorify him. Somebody magnify him. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Know that he's our refuge. Know that he's our strength. Know that it is all in him. The fullness of the Godhead. Know that he spoke. And it was done. He commanded. And it stood still. Know that everything. Is beneath him. Glory to God. Be not troubled in spirit to the saints. Be not troubled. And see a friend. You need to know the man called Christ Jesus you need to make a turn Lord God I don't know if it is Demetrius in 3 John 3 but if it is the same one in Acts 9 and say friends make a turn yeah, yeah, yeah. glory to God glory to God glory to God glory to God Glory to God. You have the strength to make it. You have the strength to make it. It is not of your own belief in yourself. But believing in God. Your strength is in Christ. We are nothing without him. Nothing. 
our dependency is that's in right. him that's right. That's right. everything we have no wisdom outside him we have no strength we are not here because of our own but because he would have us here glory to God glory to God he said he's coming back he will be coming back we saw what happened on Friday night glory to God we saw what happened there was no warning on the newscast but men and women we're rushing for shelter. Fear grip some of us. We wondered how long it was going to last. I myself wondered as well. Mighty God. So what is this? Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. But had it been the Son of Man at that hour, we would have, we have, be, would have been today. Mighty good God, we take nothing for granted. He has power over everything. Over everything. Over everything. The apostles, they have made it. Our forefathers have made it. Christ himself came and he took and fleshed. And he made it. He became us and he made it. He showed us that we can make it. The Apostle Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Who are you following? Glory to God. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Mighty God, mighty God. Oh, lift your hands wherever you are and worship him. And give God glory. Give God glory. Give God glory. You have made it this far. And he's able to carry you through. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, stand up for me. I'm going on right on. That's all on. I'm going on right on. That's all I know. I'm going on right on to that city where my church are prepared for me. I'm going on right on. That's all I know. I'm going on right on. That's all I know. I'm going on. Where my shots are prepared for me. I'm going on. Oh, that's all I know. Going on, right on. That is all I know. I'm going on, right on. To that city. Where my shots are prepared for me. I'm going on, right on. That's all I know. Bless the Lord Jesus. Bless the Lord Jesus. Thank God for the woman of God and the word for prayer coverage and protection. If you're here today, you're not yet saved. The altar is here. If you're here and a believer, but you're going through a situation and you need to be strengthened, the altar is here. You know, last week we pulled some paper or we pulled some things that were buried. If you're still questioning why you got the altar is here. On right on, that's all I know. Going on, right on to that city where my sons are prepared. Oh, I'm going on, right on. That's all I know. Yes! Glory! Thank you, 
oh God. Going on right, right on, on to the city, city where our passions are prepared for you. Oh, I'm, I'm going on, right on. That's all I know. I'm going on, right on. That's all I know. I'm going on. Going on, right on, that's all I know. I'm going on, right on, to that city where mansions are prepared for me. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody push. We say push is pray until uh, something happens. Go ahead. You're free to pray. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for this house. Your servant we have set and your people. Lord, you have used your woman's servant to declare the word of healing and restoration. And right now, God, and declare complete healing healing in the name of Jesus healing for every condition diabetes hypertension asthma allergies akoshata la baba sata manda ya basata akanda ya basata Right now, God, every cancer be gone in the name of Jesus. Lupus be gone in the name of Jesus. Vibrise be gone in the name of Jesus. Pushakata, every double mindedness be gone in the name of Jesus. I declare sanity. I declare your love, God. I declare gravity. I declare soundness in the name of Jesus. Soundness in the name of Jesus. Victory in the name of Jesus. Kio Shababa. Mata Kundu Kosha. Bakataba. Every dark cloud be reversed in the name of Jesus. Every ailment sent from the enemy. Be brought down now in the name of Jesus. I declare victory. Come on, somebody say victory in the name of Jesus. Come on, victory in the name of Jesus. Come on, strength in the name of Jesus. Strength in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. Come against the spirit of necromancy. I come against the spirit of witchcraft. I declare life in the name of Jesus. I declare health in the name of Jesus. I declare wealth in the name of Jesus. Health and wealth in the name of Jesus. Health and wealth in the name of Jesus. Hands up, mother woman. Hands up, woman. Hands up, woman. Let the glory of God, let the presence of God saturate this house. Saturate your people. Thank you for your healing, God. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your restoration. Thank you for the renewal. Thank you for the growth. Thank you for prosperity. Thank you for your blessings. Oh, how to be your way, God. Let's set me straight. In the name of Jesus, I declare victory. I declare healing. I declare salvation. I declare freedom. In the name of Jesus.
This morning, my head don't feel like normal. Check the pressure, it was okay. Check the other one, kind of okay. So, I know something they call sinusitis is not normal. But I purpose to be in the house of God. And I purpose to give Him glory. Come on, somebody. You still need that victory. You still need to overcome. And so the enemy tried everything to do. But I'm here victorious. Hallelujah. You lift me up. In the fullness. In the fullness of your grace. In the power. You lift me up. You lift me up, Lord. He kabo shataba. You lift me up in the fullness, in the fullness of your grace, in the power. Come on, strength is available. Strength is available. Whatever the condition, whatever the weakness, strength is available. Come on, throw your hands in the air and give God glory. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, y'all. He's worthy. He's awesome. I 
God is wonderful. There is none like him. He's God, God alone. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh. Echo Shaba. Glory. Yes. In the power Victory in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody give him glory. Lift me up, lift me up, lift me up, lift me up. Lift me up. In the fullness, in the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You lift me up. Please stand everywhere for the benediction. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, love of God the Father, full fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, rest, remain, abide us all. Oh, no, for everyone, all God, people say.